Today's launch in and of itself is historic. I've never recovered a rocket and launched it again, so I'm really excited about that. The purpose of today's launch is to recover the rocket, refuel it, and then launch it again. Can I help you, sir? Let's get some breakfast, man. It's another significant rocket accomplishment that's been eluding me. The rocket we're going to launch today is the Coyote rocket from last weekend. I had to make a new upper body section because the original one was destroyed when the parachute cord ripped through it. The bottom of the fin can had some damage from the smoke element, and I thought about touching it up, but I kind of like it. It's a little rough around the edges. Yep, light it up. Okay, and uh, three, two, one, go. So it was a beautiful flight. Awesome. Uh, and now all we have to do is go see if there's any damage to the rocket. If there's not, we can fly it again. Hopefully. <laughs> so here it is. And it looks pretty good. Ejection piston were good. It looks really good shape. Nose cone, parachute, everything looks good. The piston came out a little bit further than I had planned, but that's all right. It did its job, apparently. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Do you need to turn off the camera then? Which camera? The nose cone camera. Oh yeah, thanks. Camera is still recording. Get it back and refuel it. So we've got a spare engine and a spare piston. And I'm going to go ahead and throw the new engine in, the new piston in, and then we can launch it again. Man, I hate these bugs out here today. What's up with that? So the piston comes off like that. Unscrews from here. Throw that away. So this gets screwed into here. Like that. This gets plugged into here, like that. And the new one's ready to go. Oh, that looked like it came out a little bit, didn't it? All right, so we got the new ejection piston in. The safety pin is in, and um, now we're just going to pull out the engine and put in a new engine. Okay, there's the spent engine. Do you think it's like a half an hour turnaround? I think at the most. I mean, all I have to really do is just put in the new ejection piston, plug it in, uh, put in the new engine, screw it in, and then pack the parachute again, you're ready to go. 
So I'd say at the most 30 minutes. All right, so the last thing we have to do is write the date on the fin and keep you track of how many times it's been launched. And there it is, third time, second time in one day, hopefully. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Right there. Did it open? No. Nope. You didn't take the pin off? Yeah, I did. You did take the pin off? Yes. Well, here it is. There is not much left of it. No, it's still there. We had some problems with one of the connectors on the uh, on the um, Apogee detector that goes to the piston, and it's usually a little two-pin uh, connector, and one of the pins came off, and that was the only thing that we didn't bring spare, so we didn't have anything extra, so we kind of taped it up with some electrical tape and uh, kind of plugged it in there and hoped for the best. So that's that's our working theory as to why it didn't work, but um, everything else worked good. The engine, you know, just did get to fly one rocket twice in one day. We just didn't get to recover it. So that uh, it's still eluding me. The video camera? Come on. Yes, here's the video camera. Maybe the memory still works. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I doubt it. It's hot. Yeah, look, this is the memory right here, Dan. Maybe it's, it didn't. It's all broken. No, it's not. This is just a plug. No, that's the chip right there. Oh. That's the chip right there, huh? Yes. It was a good flight, but uh, unfortunately the parachute didn't come out, and still our theory is that that one connector that we had to just rig with tape is probably the cause of the fault. So, it's kind of good. I was tired of that rocket anyway. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. I really miss it. <laughs> Two, two out of three on a rocket, uh, fully recovered. That's uh, to me, it's a record. For us? Yeah, definitely. You know, when it comes down to it, it doesn't take a whole lot to make a rocket fail. Really, it only takes one thing. A loose connector, a loose bolt. Anything like that could just bring the rocket down into the ground. And in a way, this is kind of the curse of amateur rocketry. But in another way, it's also what makes it so exciting. We'll be out next month, we're going to try it again.